Hey everyone, I'm Alfred, and welcome back to Morrowind. Specifically to Blood Moon. Last time some shenanigans happened, so this got all fucked. So we're heading north. Oops. Back you go. To here. To the Skull Village. Here's hoping it goes well. Yeah, I've always liked the skull. I think they're a little holier than now, though. Maybe that's just me. Though I will say, they feel very... One of the things is that they feel very human. You know, they don't really, like, feel like they're... Because, like... If your problem is with, like... Oh, boy, huh? If your problem is with, like... A fantasy elf. And not, like, an Elder Scrolls fantasy elf. Do I have maxed out blow weapon? I totally don't. Then you have a minor problem anyway. One of the problems with arguing with elves in a fantasy world is that they're immortal and better than you and you'll never defeat them, yada yada, etc. Et Load of bullshit. But with the skull, like, you're better funded and more powerful than them from the get go. And if you wanted to, you could probably just kill them all, no problem. And you don't because well, you can't. These boars look like shit. You don't kill him because you can't, but also, ostensibly, you're the good guy in the concepts of the story. But yeah, they always seemed a little bit, like, much for me, you know? Like, they always claimed to know more than they could. And Hermaeus Mora was always like... I must have their secrets and shit, but like, what possibly could you get from them, dude? They're a bunch of homeless people. Damn, he had an ebony mace on him. That he'll keep. You too. Damn, you guys had good shit on you. But yeah, um, it's just like, I don't know. It makes dealing with him a little annoying. I have no idea what Hermaeus Moral wants out of them. Because he like uses his weird dirty little tentacles to brain fuck a guy at some point. Lake fielding. They call it that in Skyrim? Cause like, I know that you don't get like little little pop-ups of the area you're in, but like, that's a that's a missed opportunity if they didn't. It's cool to know the lo the names of locations. Hello? Yes, this is how I'm getting out of here. You fuck.
Anyhow. I just noticed the weird little things on my on my boots. You see that? Because I've got this thing that makes it look like I'm wearing a dress. And I'm not. It's just a long, like, crotch cloth. So these guys are the Reichlings. Possibly Reeklings. They're goofy little doofuses, to be sure. Uh, and they're, like, I guess the closest thing to, like, a typical goblin in the Elder Scrolls. I guess they have a natural reflect up. Weird. Kooky. All right. But yeah, compared to how, like, Tolkien orcs are, like, essentially demons and they're super evil and they run around and all they do is bad stuff and fight guys and kill and yada yada, etc, etc. And then, like, the Tolkien orcs obviously inspired all the other orcs. And then the Elder Scrolls orcs ended up with, like, this super complicated, like, really deep culture and, like, cool religion... Yada yada, etc. etc. says bend over and give your Hi. Smith do for you? Which your character? Weapons? Some conversation. Oh, I made it. Head on. What are you guys wearing? God damn. I mean, I don't want to throw all of my shit on Wow, this May is the, the same fucking place. Rigmore's hut. Speak up. You look cool. What do you want, stranger? The skull wish you no harm, but will mind your man but you will mind your manners within you within the walls. What's this about a uh, Imperial fort? Soldiers. Fah. They cut their trees and dig their holes and have little to show after today's toil. They don't respect this land or their creatures, and for that I find them offensive. But though I have no love for them, the Skull would never do such a thing. We prefer to let the Im Imperials kill themselves. Slowly. But these creatures that attacked, these were not wolves of the island. Have you finished your business here? So you're by the bones of the ancestors? Stupid Imperials. They need to learn to leave things as they are. Still, it's good you have returned us to the Skull. Perhaps there's hope for you and your kind. My kind? You mean... You guys make no fucking sense. You're welcome here, but there's much to atone for. Yada yada. Imperials in the fort brought nothing to the... Blah, blah, blah. The oneness of the land. It's this oneness from which the Skull derived their strength and the Imperials have defiled these lands. The carelessness. The Imperials have upset the order. Yada yada yada. You will restore the power of the Skull. Um, it's your people that have caused the... Bro, I don't want to be involved with the fucking Empire. I don't care. Speak with Korst one eye. He will give you, you some fucking told instruction. You to perform the rituals needed to restore the power of the Skull. What have you done? You will die where you stand. Damn, okay. You guys got hands. You are to perform the rituals needed to restore the power of the scar. What have you done? You will die where you stand. Damn, you guys are You were told to perform the Shut the fuck up. Head on.
The fact that he's wearing metal armor kind of undermines the whole thing, doesn't it? Because, like, they're not supposed to mine anything, and if they need sterner stuff, they'll get things out of... Like... Core store. If they need stronger stuff, they should just get shit out of... Blah, blah, blah. Hard thing wishes for you to do this. I'll assist you. A task. Uh, oh, I know these things. Find the standing stones. So the ritual is done. It'd be too much for any of the for any not of the skull to remember. Would it be? Take this book that we've written. You were I to guess. Perform the ritual of the gifts. I hope your way has been easy. Okay. Makes me happy to know that I'm still carrying. That thing that I stole off of Vex Corpse. Sit quietly, child, and listen for the story I tell you is the story of the ages. But what is it, Grandfather? A story of heroes and beasts? Grandfather looked patiently at the child. He was growing into a fine boy. Soon you'd see the value in the story as the lessons taught each generation. Listen, child, let the story take root in your heart. In a time before now, long before now, when the skull were new, there was peace in the land. The sun was hot and the crops grew long and the people were happy in the peace the Allmaker provided. The skull grew complacent and lazy and they took for granted the lands and gifts the Allmaker had given them. They forgot or chose not to remember the adversaries always watching. And he delights in tormenting the Allmaker and his chosen people. And so it is so that the Allmaker came to be, the adversary came to be among the skull. In many aspects, he appears an unholy beast and the incurable plague. At the end of seasons, we'll know him as Thartag, the world of Arapor. But in these ages, he became known to the world as the Greedy Man. Greedy man, that is for what we call him, for to speak his name would bring him would bring ruin on the people, lived among the skull for many months. Perhaps he was just once a man, but when the adversary entered into him, he became the greedy man, and that's now how he shall, he shall be remembered. Came one day that the powers of the skull left them. Strength left the arms of the warriors, Shaman could no longer summon the beasts to their sides. Eldest thought surely the Allmaker was displeased, and some suggest the Allmaker had left them forever. It was then that the greedy man appeared to them and spoke. You the skull and grow fat and lazy, I've stolen the gifts of your Allmaker. I stone the ocean so you'll never, forever know thirst. Um, aren't the oceans full of salt water? I've stolen the lands and the trees and the sun so your crops will wither and die. I've stolen the beasts so you go hungry. I've stolen the wind so you live without the spirit of the Allmaker. And until one of you can reclaim these gifts, the skull will live in misery and despair. For I'm the greedy man, that's my nature. And he disappeared. Members of the skull spoke for many days and nights. He knew that one of them sh uh, must retrieve the gifts. Could not decide who it will be. I cannot go, for I must stay and lead the skull and tell the people what is the law. I cannot go, said the warrior. I must protect the skull. My sword be needed in case he appears. I cannot go, for the people need my wisdom. Hey, here's the trinity of talker, mage, warrior, by the way. Avar lifted his voice. He was strong of arm, fleet of foot, but he was not yet a warrior. I will go, and the skull laughed. Hear me out, the boy continued. I'm, yet, I'm not yet a warrior, so my sword won't be needed. I can't read the portents, so they won't seek my counsel. And I'm young and not yet wise of the ways and the law. I'll achieve the gifts of the Allmaker from the greedy man. If I cannot, I will not be missed. They thought on this briefly and decided to let him go. He left the village next morning. He said to achieve to get the water, so they he went to the water stone. Travel west to the sea and follow the swimmer to the waters of life. West to the old sea, you say? So obviously people in the real world have used too much of the Earth's natural resources. Again, you guys are so full of yourselves. People in the real world, you know, have used too many natural resources. And a lot of, like, quote, miraculous things that we, like, quote, discovered post-colonization were actually things that a lot of native cultures had already figured out 
far, far pre-colonization, and we didn't, and they didn't need our help to do so. Things like rotating crops and not overfishing or not planting too uh, fastidiously. However, I feel like that and things like that get kind of undermined when you have uh, magic enter the equation. What's more, it's not like we're polluting and shit. Like, the world is still in a sort of medieval stasis besides the Dwemer, and they kind of took care of themselves. Hey, yeah, that's a Draugr. Wow, you got it hard. Carnal channeling. Ugh. Oh, funny. Just drops me back out here. So yeah, these stones work kind of like the standing stones found in Skyrim. See, originally, everyone had like a, uh, well, you've seen me pick it. Everyone has like a permanent birth sign that you pick. And that stays on your character no matter what. And it's always a part of that character. I think they kept that consistent in um, Oblivion. I don't know. I haven't played Oblivion. I will. Um, Most Ring Mountains. Wow. Anyway. I think they kept that consistent in Oblivion. I don't know. But in Skyrim instead, your race is just your race. And you also don't pick a class either. So... Um, Yeah, your character is literally just what skills you use and your race. So. Scouts and Warriors. So in Skyrim said you have these things called standing stones. And you just go around and click on one, and it gives you a blessing. And that blessing stays in your character for however long. And you can only have the one. So it works the same way, but they're not as strong, and you can also swap them out as needed, as often as you need. Shield went away. Oh, I broke it. Funny. Anyway, yeah, so that was their change to kind of make sure that you would have, you know, more people who, more choice over your character build. Right, 
I think it's kind of clever. Some people don't like it because it, you know, means that you don't commit to anything. I know I can kill you. Don't make me prove it. Anyway, so yeah, the standing stones. And I kind of wonder if the standing stones were based off of these things. It would make sense. A lot of the stuff in Skyrim draws from here. Arguably. I think that's where the final boss is. If not the final boss, then the super boss. I don't know how to get in there, though. More Red Glacier. Edge of the ocean, a swimmer of black horror. I have no idea how to do this. All right, took a brief detour, detour into this cave. It just fucking cracks me up how these people like still think that they have a chance. Like, they had a chance, like, hours ago. Even before... Hey, the fucking snow stopped. That'll make it easier. Even before I had a, uh... These twin, like, god swords and armor from the Pimpinist. It still was a little crazy how much power I had. And yeah, that hasn't gotten better. Now one might say... That my weakness is that I don't have any ranged options, but nobody can actually hit me. And if they can, I've got a billion hit points anyway. People can't lead a target for shit in this game. Not that it really matters. Your aim is irrelevant, because even if you hit the target dead on, there still has to be a fucking die roll.
Yeah, it's a lot more fun exploring this island when I can see shit. South and east. Hey, asshole, I'm on a magic quest and shit. So while trying to get back to the water stone, I've accidentally gotten to the wind stone. Actually, is that the Skull Village right there? What is this place? Be gone, stranger. We'll have no dealings with the likes of you. You have no business being here. Stranger. Wow, fuck you guys too. All right. I have located my destination. I've got to say when they were when they fucking told me that I had six fun new locations to explore, I just like sighed internally. Cuz like this is kind of a drag in in uh like five to begin with like go into all the four different things and because like, you hit two just basically by accident but like oh it is kind of a pain to to do this like, just struggling to find the fucking water stone in a snowstorm, like... Ugh. Disgusting. I'm like, it makes sense that you would want your player to explore as much of the game world early. I didn't want to kill you guys. You started this. Take that, Chunk Tusks. Yeah, like struggling to find the water stone. Because, like, I feel like I've. Looking at the windstone that I found, I feel like I've probably walked past the water stone by now. Because, like, everything's made of these, like, ugly, muddy, you know, dull textures. So it's really hard to see what anything is to begin with. And when it's constantly snowing and trying to just like, it feels like it's trying to fucking stop you from seeing things. Like, it's not as though the snow is doing anything to you besides obscuring your vision. So it just feels annoying. Where the fuck is this goddamn thing I'm supposed to go into? That's a long blade? I guess it is.
Also, yeah, how the fuck are they gonna get off giving me a fucking potion of cure disease? I'm immune to all of it anyway. God damn it. Oh, that's funny. My head's close enough to the surface of the ice, so I can't uh, drown down here. Hey, I found it. It was my fault. Also, my shit's all breaking, which is a little annoying. Because, like, I don't have any way to quick travel back to the island. I could get a boat, but I don't really... I think that doesn't count. Because that's just the intended way you're supposed to get here anyway. Greedy man's bag and gotten the wind out of it. How dumb were the guys on Odysseus's boat? Like, I know that they'd been at sea for, like, a hundred years or whatever. But, like, they had a fucking bag of wind. And they were like, what if we just opened the whole thing? Idiots, a lot of them. All right, I've spent far too much time doing this leg of this quest. It's only the first one. Use the equipment. The weak deserve no mercy. What the fuck? Treachery. Ring of Raven Eye. Deceit. And Shadow Sting. Oh, it's so heavy. I think I have to go back to the skull. There's no way. My shit's all breaking and I need to repair it. Honestly, the fact that they have Reflect Up is just really annoying more than anything. Like... They're just random enemies. Why do they have Reflect of all things? Like, I have constant reflect, and it's only 5% at any given time. Nothing, guys, really? But it's one of those things that's made me feel as though I'm playing the game wrong. I 
the fact that I just kind of have to deal with. You know, dumb shit like this. Is it fighting? You walked up and you got stabbed. I'm not sure if that counts. Here the gift of the winds. And Carnius is ready for me. Brother, I'll get to him when I get to him. Actually, I should get to him pretty soon. Right, I know what I'm doing. Is there something you need? Yep. We need the fucking door out of here for one. Hallelujah. Go, go, go. Do I have anything else that'll fortify strength? Oh, and it also makes me fly even better. Just need to get to Balmora. But if I can get some of this shit out of my pockets, that might help. Maybe across the way. I always hate having to go back to the main area. Like, I know that all my shit is here. But like, man, it's having a good time with the DLC. I guess it's just an unfortunate consequence that the DLC isn't like... Maybe it just can't like completely support... Three blessings to you, Outlander. This is a pleasure. That sort of thing. Are there shops in here? Surprise. Please, That's a shop, right? It's so good to me. You cannot escape the righteous. <laughs> you cannot escape the righteous. Welcome, I guess you don't have any either. Fuck me to death. Welcome, friend. Are you the one I've heard talk about? Foreign quarter. Somehow I don't think they'll be able to help me very much. Man, this one just keeps going and going, huh? Um, I'm showing my first trip to Balmora. And I'll show my trip back. But after that, I'll probably do all of them off screen. I just want everyone to appreciate how obnoxious leaving a DLC area is in this game.
You know, I feel like they could have had... You know, things like fast travel. Somehow I doubt that it was impossible. And yet they don't. It's about as vanilla as Morrowind experiences go. You cannot escape the righteous. Blah, 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 blah. Unlike those dumbass Imperial Guards. What's your story? All right. That's pretty heavy. Fuck, just take it. What do you jackass? You are rarely any help to me, Ravier. You scam me for money in Skuma. I don't think you buy Skuma pipes. Wow. I got the fucking good ease, huh? Just bring it in, y'all. I learned actually that, you know how when you click the, the little thing that says I'm not a robot and somehow it just knows that you aren't? So the reason that it just knows that you aren't is because it's tracking the way that your mouse moves and the way that you click things. Because when you have a robot doing things like I am now, you know, it's very methodical and mechanical and obvious and robotic. Uh, you know, and, and humans don't work that way. Fortify heavy armor. Where's my heavy armor at? It's pretty high. The helmet reflect. I like that. Resist paralysis. Boy, do I need it. Like a fucking train wreck. <laughs> Where's my medium armor at? Less high. My light armor is still the lowest, though, so. Ah, uh, yes. The big suck. All right, let's get back, Jojo. Yes, Outlander. What do you... May my hops be for real, dude. Oh, yeah, I think I finally maxed out my acrobatics. Yep. Another skill at 100 for Galena Pitchblend. Actually, before I leave, I'm going to check and see if I can't buy an amulet of recall. Because I found a ring of mark and I've kept it on me for some reason.
How do you do? Useless. You just have potions. Greetings, out there. Greetings to you, Dunmer. God damn, is that everyone? I'm listening. That's everyone. Please go ahead. So good. Is there something I can do for you? Greetings. Damn you all. Ah, welcome. What is it, friend? In terms of mage wise, that's about as far as we go, I think. And you've been dropped off your perch for as a while, huh? Give me the Nisus. Say your words. I don't waste my time on the likes of you. Honestly, I'll need them. May as well, right? Yeah, that was the guy I murdered in front of them, huh? Well, that's why their uh, opinion of me is low. Because I murdered a guy in front of them. He was a dick, though. What the hell? What does this sword do? Oh, it, it, it does do that, in fact. It chameleons them. Interesting. But cool. It's poison and it chameleons them. Weird. And it has a high range of attacks that it can actually do. So it is actually possible to swim back to Solstheim, and maybe I will one day. But I don't really want to because it's a long fucking swim. That's weird. I've never seen a weapon with Chameleon on strike. Mages, man. They got too much time on their hands. Welcome. Please don't be shy. I'm listening. This pond? Fuck me. Hey, so my last save is here, and oh my god. <laughs> I just... I have to go all the way back to Morrowind, and I have to go all the way back to Soul's Time. Fuck me. I'm gonna... This has been Morrowind, everyone. Frustrating as it often is. Good old Morrowind. Never change. I'll see you guys next time. I've been Alfred. Bye.